Mrs. Oracle, I have a slightly unusual request from Lady Shiva. She's looking for someone to take on the League of Assassins. I'll warn you, if she hadn't called in a personal favor, I'd never have let her into the Watchtower. Be on your guard. Heroes, villains, these words mean nothing to me. All that matters is the battle. Raish al Ghul is the demon's head, leader of the League of Assassins. His obsession with cleansing the earth has turned him away from honorable combat. He must be forced to reevaluate his priorities. Talia has a personal interest. She will tell you more when you arrive. This is Talia Al Ghul. The Demon's Head and leader of the League of Assassins is Raish Al Ghul, my father. As much as I respect him, his latest plans threaten the very existence of the League. I will aid you against him, where I can. This must be concluded before my beloved, the Batman himself, becomes involved. But be warned. Our ninjas are the spirit of death itself. And Raish is guarded by the most fearsome of all. The claws of the demon. Unless you seek death, you must find Raish and stop his plans. This is Lois Lane with Daily Planet Live. The international group Checkmate has issued a global warning on the global terrorist known as Raish al Ghul. Leader of the League of Assassins, Raish has declared he will end Earth's pollution by widespread genocide. Although his previous attempts have been thwarted by Batman and the Justice League, the fight against Brainiac has spread our heroic community thin. More on this breaking story as it comes. I am Jack Ryder, and you are wrong. Why? Because you think no one can live forever. I have news for you, friend. Raish Ghoul can live forever, with a quick dip into a nearby Lazarus Pit. That's right, folks, a Lazarus Pit. Liquid death for the living and new life for the dead. Don't believe me? Think Raish is planning to wipe the Earth clean just so you can live on it? Hate to break it to you, friend, but you are wrong. This is a top security transmission from Amanda Waller to Sarge Steele. We have determined that Merlin and David Kane are not, repeat not, on site at the League's underground temple. Whether they are supporting Raish's latest attempt to purge the planet elsewhere is unknown. I am alerting the Suicide Squad. Waller out. This is Vicki Vale for Gotham Now. What's the connection between Batman and the leader of the League of Assassins? We hear it's a romance. Between Batman and Raisha Ghoul's own daughter, Talia. Does this mean that Batman will found the next Al Ghul dynasty? We'll keep you posted right here at Gotham Now. This is Batgirl. I'm using a frequency only Batman knows to break the League's communication system. Be careful of the League. If you cannot defeat them, Batman and I will defeat Raish and his plans. But I do not believe that will be necessary. Good luck.
victim comes to the slaughter, send them to their death! When the claws of the demon fall, death can be delayed for a short time. How did you enter here, infidel? I am Rachel Ghoul, and this temple is not visible on any map. And you arrive just as my rite begins to flood the earth and leave only the worthy alive. But no matter. You shall never see this paradise. Despair and die. of assault! Attack! You have learned nothing! Second assault! Show them all the price of failure!
You defeated the others, but I shall never fall. Front the League of Assassins survive. Just beyond here, my father begins his right to drown the earth in death. I cannot oppose him openly. Act as my blade and stop his madness. Ignites. Soon the waters of purity will rise to burn away the taint of this polluted planet. Rise from the waters, claws of the demon. Rise, purified with the fire of death. is the best of humanity to prevail. But you cannot prevent the waters from rising, for the final catalyst is my own blood. No! The water of purity! It fights the Lazarus effects within me! It seeks to destroy its own master! You shall be purged from this earth! Curse you! Paradise from his own blood. 
I do not know why the Waters of Purity sought to destroy him instead. Perhaps the Lazarus pits that keep both my father and me alive have changed us in ways we do not yet understand. You must go now so I may tend to my father. I will remember your service this day. Death. It is not certain, nor a given. And life is easily restored to those who know where to look. I cherish life, for I have taken life from death countless times. The truth is, only through death can the world be born anew. In perfect balance. In the past, I desired to share my vision. To found a dynasty to survive humanity's doom. Fools! Now I will wait no longer. I am Ra Shao Ghoul, and with my League of Assassins, the world will be cleansed, and the worthy alone shall survive. Chronicles of Death, Batgirl. Born and bred to serve as bodyguard for Resh al Ghul, Batgirl nevertheless defied us and joined forces with the Batman. She must be made to rejoin us, whether alive or dead. Chronicles of Death, Talia Al Ghul. Daughter of Raish Al Ghul, she owes her life to him and his Lazarus pits, yet defies him. A disobedient child is a curse to her father. I trust she will soon be punished. Chronicles of Death, the Batman. Chosen by Ra's al Ghul to wed his daughter Talia and father a generation to inherit paradise, yet the Dark Knight refused. He, like all men, can die, yet he has so far evaded our efforts. Chronicles of Death, Lady Shiva. A master assassin who has bested even the Batman in combat, yet her loyalties are in question. To her, the fight is all. Death has no meaning before honor. Honor. <laughs> Foolish woman. Chronicles of Death, Boston Brand. One of the League's many successful kills. However, his life force still lingers on this plane. Has the goddess Ramakushna herself intervened? Has she revealed the secrets of Nanda Parbat? It is a mystery. Chronicles of Death, Robin. Anyone who works as closely with the Batman as the boy Robin is a target for death. We have sought to turn him to our cause with as little success as his master. <laughs> 